What's going on everybody? Adam here with the trailer Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hopkins 4 and 7 pole trailer connection. So this is going to be a replacement for the connections that you guys have from the factory right here. But we are going to have some mounting options. In the box, you're going to find the replacement right here. But we do have options. We can either replace this one here in that position or we do have a bracket with some mounting hardware if you guys want to mount it up somewhere else. But for today, I'm not gonna be using the bracket. I'm just going to put it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side. So what we need to do is first, obviously remove the one that we are taking out. There's a couple different reasons we could be replacing it. One, maybe it's not making a good connection and you guys are having issues with your trailer wiring or if it just gets rusted and corroded over time, or it starts fading out. There's a lot of different reasons why we will be replacing this, but whatever the reason, it's gonna be quick and easy. We're gonna to have to go ahead around back and pop it out and undo the wiring connection. What I've found to be easiest is just to go ahead and get your hand up there, and there's gonna be tabs. We can go ahead and just push those in, and then just kinda of push it out. And we'll do the rest just from the back just because it's be a little bit easier and we don't gotta lay on the ground. So now with it out, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is kind of just push down on this tab here, kind of wiggle it loose. And now you guys can go ahead and see the similarities between the two. The only difference really is just the symbols on the front plate here. And that's just because it's not going to be a OEM replacement. It's just going to look exactly the same, but it's not gonna be from the factory. So. Go ahead and throw that away if it's not working. And then all we gotta do, snap that into place, make sure you got a good connection, and then you can kind of fish it back through. And all you gotta do is just kind of work it in. You'll hear it click. So now with it completely installed, all we have to do is just run some tests. We can do this a couple different ways. You guys can just go ahead and maybe just plug into your trailer, make sure everything works. But for today, we have this neat little toy here. We're just gonna plug it in. I'm gonna hop into the driver's seat and run through some of the functions, and hopefully, we'll see some lights light up. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and check our clearance lights. Hopefully, we should have something lighting up back there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and test our brakes. Hopefully, we have two lights lighting up. And then, of course, our blinkers, both left and right. And then I'm gonna throw it into reverse real quick and make sure that we have the reverse light, which we do. So once you guys go ahead and test all that, everything's working properly. Well, everyone, that just about does it for a look at the Hopkins 7 and 4 pole trailer connection on our 2020 Ram 1500.